A pleasant good evening, hello from our main studios on the Congerton Back Road. Hello to our many viewers and welcome to News Today on KMTV coming to you from our main studios on the Congerton Back Road in Monrovia. Today is Tuesday, the 7th day of April 2020 and I'm Julius Conton presenting. In our top stories we're following, Monrovia City Corporation in collaboration with the National Public Health Institute of Liberia launched a new project intended to target active case founders in the 17 electoral districts of Montserrat County. Ebola hero, Montserrat County Senator Sir Joseph warns Liberians against living in the state of denial of the COVID-19 virus. To properly manage and supervise effectively do not funding and to support the fight against COVID-19, President George Weah appoints the Director General of the General Services Agency, Mary Burr, and Ambassador Nora Findabondo as National Response Coordinator and National Compliance Manager, respectively. And now on the news in detail. The Monrovia City Corporation, in collaboration with the National Public Health Institute of Liberia on Tuesday, launched a new project codenamed Active Case Founders. The campaign is part of efforts to create more awareness on how to contain the further spread of the virus in Liberia. Speaking at the launch of the program was the Director General of Enfield, Dr. Mosoka Fala. already have the trust of their fellow residents, the trust of the local authority, and that's the best way to go to find the disease. Because we are beginning to see transmission change that we can't understand. What that simply means to us is that people are having the disease and seeking treatment. One of the confirmed cases yesterday went from one to the and used one name, and once they developed the name, it's a different name. We need this colleague in our communities. We have to find them. I speak for every heart because it's a big challenge. We to can both to protect us and the decision to protect you. And see that we have to accelerate that effort. So we thought that we could adopt that same model, have to go across all districts, have our own horses, and go from house to house to search for the sick, find them, and let the health authorities to know, the county health team to know, and then we can go and search for them. Then he issued a for emergency general issue on lockdown when he said lockdown is essential. They have seen it happen in many countries, but it doesn't work until they are, there is an army that goes from house to house to find the city. The truth is true. We are very convinced will be one layer of our effort to continue outbreak. Well, the new project is expected to cover communities within the 17 electoral districts in Montserrat County, with over 5,000 young people carrying out the process. Providing further update and overview of the project was the City Mayor of Monrovia, Jefferson Koji. We've been actively working with our commissioners. We have elevated to another level. That level, where we have come to let you know, today we will officially be bringing folks to you close to 6,000 young persons. So today we are in collaboration with Enfield. This 6,000, close to 6,000 young person will be deployed directly in the Vera community. When we, when we engage in the land, we will engage the 17th district. That's what I said to you. Each of the 17th district gonna have 29, 329 person with a different with the 17th district. The 17th district will have a general supervisors, a 
general supervisor will be showing for to evaluate some of those information that will be collected on the feed. When the general supervisor has that, it will be sent to the, to the data management tool where they will process it for code word submission to infill where those data man will be announced to the world on the daily basis so we can know who is affected with malaria, who is affected with chloride, who is affected with typhoid, and we get to know a day-to-day -day event. So people will get to your house, they will request to have you uh, checking your temperature, we say to you, do not panic. Please cooperate with them. They will not only be in your rooms, what this group of management have done, they have managed to have demarcated the entire 17th district. They say one will succeed in cutting the transmission and the country is safe. So we're trying to do our possible best to ensure that we cover this deadly coronavirus. Liberian leader George Manon Weir has with immediate effect appointed the Director General of the National Services Agency Mirabo as National Response Coordinator for the Executive Committee on Coronavirus in Liberia. According to an executive mansion release, Madam Bro will provide supervision toward a single set of national strategic objectives for defeating coronavirus disease in the country. She is expected to coordinate the National COVID-19 Multi-Sectorial Response Plan in coordination with the United Nations donor partners, the Ministry of Health and the National Public Health Institute of Liberia. At the same time, President Weir has appointed Ambassador Nora Findabondo, Chief of Protocol at the Executive Mansion as the National Compliance Manager of the EOC. Madam Bondo is charged with the responsibility of monitoring the overall allocation and disbursement of response, logistics, and resources. Well, viewers, if you just join us, you're watching News Today on KMTV. It's a production of the News and Current Affairs Department here at Creative Mass and Television, 50 minutes package on this platform. We bring you more stories. Montserrat County Senator Sir Joseph has challenged Liberians to follow all health protocols in order to stay safe. Speaking to reporters briefly after the closure of the Senate for a two-week break, Senator Joseph stressed the need for people to stop living in the state of denial of the virus. The coronavirus situation is very serious in the country. The number of cases keep increasing. And... Uh, we have started having death cases. There are other illnesses that are relating, that, re, that, that are in the country too, that the Ministry of Health has to focus on, those hospitals and those clinics. But I want to say to you, uh, to the people of Liberia, let's keep safe. Please, I heard a lot of stories of people saying, oh, it's not true, the virus is not here. Uh, please, I want to say to the people of Liberia, this is a very, very serious situation. The virus is in the country. The virus is not just at one location. It is now moving into communities. The number of contact tracers are, uh, tracing is too many. So I want to pray that even that uh, let's make sure we are safe. Let's keep following the health regulations. It's very important. At least when we open again, uh, when this situation is over, we can all be happy as a country. We did it before during the Ebola crisis. I believe we can do it again in Liberia. But this weekend, by Saturday, uh, my organization, the first responder, and myself are going to be involved in uh, the fight. The time for the Liberia Abino Society to survive its operations in the country is just about three weeks away. Well, this is so because of the aspiration of its rentenue at the end of April of this year. The institution wreaks eviction as hundreds of people may no longer have access to free health care services currently being offered by that institution. No option now but to rush to national government to rescue them. Here is worried Executive Director Patricia Logan speaking on the issue. 
where we have our building presently, the family or the Memnon family requested the institute to move since last year of April. They, they said that they were not taking money and this time around they are asking us. The letter that you see the letter that you see here, Madam Christy Pa asking the institution to turn over the billing the 30th of April, which Labira Abinosa is engaging government, making sure that our location that we want to relocate is making sure that we get the money from government. As we're speaking, the delay process causing the disgrace is what you're seeing right now. We don't want to be disgraced. This institution is helping thousands of people every year, making sure that people come here, and, you know, people from the ghettos, people from marginalized group comes here and get treatment on a free basis. So we're asking the government to make sure that they help in the process in making sure that we get what the institution should be having so we can be able to relocate. We're appealing to the Ministry of Finance, Honor His Excellency, Samuel Twer, and all of his deputies to make sure that what the institution deserves should have it. So I want to say to the president that the institution is working closely in making sure that the coronavirus is eradicated from our country. The new case up to press time, this means that Liberia has a confirmed active COVID cases in the country of eight with three deaths and three recoveries. That's according to the incident management team. Speaking to journalists, the chief medical officer of Liberia, Dr. Francis Keten, reiterated calls for Liberians to work together as a team to battle the COVID-19 crisis. Liberia's Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Francis Kete. More updates in our subsequent newscast. Before we go, let's bring in our final story. African Energy Chamber has urged organization of the petroleum exporting countries to reach a deal in ending oil prices war on the continent. According to the Chamber, the situation in Africa's oil economies is terrible and the continent needs to deal Sorry, needs a deal to ensure the continuity and survival of its industry amidst the COVID-19 crisis. Following the crash on oil prices, key projects awaiting FRD such as ExxonMobil have been delayed. Other projects already on the move are seeing an extension of their timeline 
to provide for cuts. The African Energy Chamber noted several drilling contacts have been terminated or cancelled across the continent, thus making thousands of Africans losing their jobs in the energy sector. With that, we come to the end of this Tuesday evening presentation of News Today on KMTV. But before going, a recap of our top stories. Monrovia City Corporation, in collaboration with the National Public Health Institute of Liberia, launches a new project intended to target case founders in the 17 electoral districts of Montserrat County. Ebola hero, Montserrat County Senator Sir Joseph warns Liberians against living in a state of denial of the virus. And to properly manage and supervise effectively donor funding and support to the COVID-19, President George Weah appoints Merit Bro and Ambassador Nora Finda Bondo as National Response Coordinator and National Compliance Manager, respectively. Many thanks for watching. The invitation is yours to join us tomorrow at 12 for news update on KMTV. On behalf of the entire crew, I'm Julius Conton. Have yourself a wonderful time. Bye-bye.